how's everybody doing today and yes i'm gonna do something that a lot of people have been asking me and i haven't had the chance to do and today i found some time to do it and what it is 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 a video on the boat on all the stuff that boat has um, and what do i like about it so i'm gonna go ahead and do it now and let me show you guys why i like the hydro sport 33 vector So, like you see, very roomy here. Um, I don't know if you guys could tell. Sometimes, because this camera, I guess the fisheye or the lens itself, it makes everything look far away and small. But it's actually pretty roomy. The boat's beam, it's, uh, if I remember correctly, it's 10.6, so it's pretty wide. Um, let me show you guys right back here. There's the life bait well. Oops. I don't really know how many gallons it is, but it's pretty big uh, and it works great. I have had bait fish back there the whole day and it's, they stay alive the whole day. And then if I don't use them, I throw them back because I don't believe I'm making nature uh, suffer. So uh, the life bait was fine. Um, over here, over here has a little, what do you want to call it? Like a raw water wash down. Then if you notice, I don't know if you can notice because it's kind of sunny in my shadow, there's rust there because I guess they didn't put a stainless steel bracket that I'm gonna change. And I'm gonna show you guys a trick how to get rid of that rust. That's why I'm not worrying about it. Uh, it's pretty easy how you get rid of the rust. Oh, and it has like a little cutting table too that I don't really use. Uh, but yeah, this has a little raw water that you know we use to clean like dirty dishes and stuff. Um, not dirty dishes, but you know, like um, little dirty stuff, any major stuff. But yeah, there's a trick. There's a trick to take take away that rust that I haven't done yet, but it's pretty easy. You get one fourth of muriatic acid and a cup of water, and so it's like uh, 25 to one. So 25% muriatic acid, 75% water, and then you get like a little Home Depot cheap brush, and then you dab it in the cup of water or bucket or whatever. You don't need that much, and you just tap it on the rust spot and instantly you're gonna see that the rust goes away uh, you don't have to spend your money on um, other expensive products it works good just don't let it sit so long because it it dulls out the the joko uh, shine so as soon as you see the rust disappear rinse it off and you'll see that the rust goes away like that um, if I ever do it and I remember to do the video I'll do it for you guys and it has I look one thing I love about this boat I have never taken out the drain plug because it has self bailing There's actually three there and there's three there. You guys notice my boat's kind of dirty because I haven't covered it. And those trees there right now, I guess they're early bloomers and they're giving me a lot of leaves and a lot of little things, uh, these type of things. I don't know what you want to call those things. And uh, yeah, I get a load of the boat, I have to cover it. So, well, here's the cutting table that I use. Um, so yeah self bailing uh almost every compartment in the boat is self bailing oh down here okay here's another compartment that i keep my bumpers and you see right there too self bailing right there so and this these right here are the uh gas tank switches area here that i don't really use it's like a rod holder type of thing that I don't really use that eventually I'm gonna take it off and make it like a half moon table there because you know us we're not real fishermen we're more of a hanging out crowd and then yeah because I have rod holders up there and then I have rod holder there and there and there and there I'm never gonna have so many rods in the boat anyway so you know I'm more like a hanging out person I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys something else back here uh this here is another seat that you actually pull out, it pops out, and it sits. Whoops. And it sits. Why is it not going all the way? Okay. So you sit down. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I think this seat is kind of useless because you see, uh, I don't like the angle of the knee, so I barely use the seat. Uh, I think this is like, I don't know, for kids because it's not really made for adults. Uh, you know, I don't like that seat, but you know, I guess it serves its purpose. It 
it's pretty easy. You kind of lift it and it closes back up. Most of the time, it's closed. Definitely, I love this door here, this transom door. Oh, it has a little thing here, you stop it. I love this transom door because if you guys remember my Carrera had no door and I will have to climb over the seats and it gets annoying. Oh, back here is pretty nice. Um, it has kind of roomy back there. You actually could walk across without falling. And then uh, if you guys notice it's on my videos, I actually keep the rope and the barbecue back there because uh, the boat sits high and the water never gets back here. So, and then, oh yeah, and there I have my ladder spot there. So let me go, whoop, let me go back into the boat. Oh, and the walkway here, the walkway here to the boat, it's pretty, it's kind of narrow, but it's pretty cool. As long as you hold, I mean, it's pretty good. As long as you hold on to the side, you won't fall in the water. And then you got the, oh, wait a minute. You got the helm, the helm. Okay, where you drive, there you go. And you got a double chair that, that goes down and up that, I don't know, sometimes I put it up, sometimes I put it down. And then here, here's a cooler spot. Now this is pretty cool, I like this. It keeps the cooler out of the sun, so your ice tends to last longer. I've noticed that the ice now lasts longer than before. You know, by just having a double, you know, being hidden away from the sun. Uh, so I, I really like that. And then I like this um, little compartment here. This is my fish box. Uh, that I, it's called my storage box because you know us we're not a fisherman like I said so we got our diving stuff there and then my extra anchor and then some of my cleaning stuff only when I go fishing I take out the stuff out of here and then keep the fish in there you know so now is it insulated I don't I'm not sure I never put ice in it and then oh we have another little box here that this is my storage it could be another fish box but this is my cleaning supply and my barbecue. But I keep the propane and stuff. Um, oh yeah, here. Here's another, has a little drawers and stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool. I don't really keep nothing in there. That's mine, that's still from the original owner. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, it has the floodlights there that I have to change to LED, but they still work. So you know me, as long as it work, I still use it. Maybe when one blows, I'll go ahead and change it. Uh, to be honest, I've never really liked icing glass. I think it makes the boat look old and non-sporty. But my kids, as soon as I got it, my kids, they was in the cabin. And my kids, you know, convinced me to put it on. And now since I have it on, I kind of like it. Because when it rains, it doesn't, you know, I close it and it doesn't get nothing wet. Um, and then when it's cold, like now nowadays here in florida it's like you know for us floridians it's snowing because one day we wake up is 54 and 60 so for us that's very cold so uh it's, you know when you cruise at 35 40 it gets pretty chilly so we actually close the icing glass and uh we like it and then we open it up so i kind of sacrifice the look in my opinion for the for the comfort and then you guys already know that's Ogida's favorite spot that it has a cooktop and it's a very strong cooktop. I was, I'm amazed. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. I have to clean it. I know. You know, we, we do use our stuff, you know, so I got to kind of clean it. Uh, yeah, that cooktop uh, is very, very strong. I was amazed. I didn't think it was strong enough. And then here, oh, I'm going to show you guys. Here's our my, my batteries. Uh, the boat has six batteries. Okay, and here is pretty cool. It's kind of like a hidden compartment that I keep my ropes there, so they're not thrown all over the place. Like that. Oh, and this what we call here, what I call my living room. Oh, this oh, this is the walkway to, you know, to get to the top of the boat there. But yeah, this is what I call my living room. There's also storage under the seat. There, I keep some water and some tools and stuff. Oh. And you guys already know this. You guys already know this from the video. This compartment here. I know it looks small in the camera, but it's actually pretty big. Here's what all the what the generator is. You guys know already. Uh the, the blower. And then the two battery chargers. And then here we have more batteries. So it's very good accessible. Everything is here. 
and then I spoke to a few people that are in the market to look to buy this boat I love it I mean if you're looking for the same thing I'm was looking for and I want to stay overnight and the most you know comfortable boat for the price the size and it's tradable so when I looked around to me uh, I like of all you know I looked I looked at the coastals I looked at the hydro sport 28 and 33 so you know I stayed with this one so let me know another thing that you guys notice that I have in the boat that I already came with I have a sea deck now I, I'm not really a fan of sea deck um, I'm gonna tell you why if you have kids like me and do a little bit of fishing especially light colors sea deck gets really dirty and if you don't clean it while it's still wet it's really hard to uh, take off if it dries so you know you guys when you're coming from the boat ramp and you're walking on the on the road and in the parking lot your feet get dirty in your shoes and then you go on the boat and it gets down there <laughs> you gotta take it off right away if you wait let's say you get to the sandbar and you forget to take it off or wet it off when you get to the sandbar if it's dry you're gonna have a hard time you gotta get the broom the hard broom and take it off so uh, but I do say, I do say, uh, it's very comfortable on the feet. You don't slide. It makes your boat look nicer. Uh, I guess it gets value to your boat. But you got to be very careful with it. And another drawback that at least right now in the winter is a little bit annoying. It lasts wet for a very long time. So, you know, it's kind of annoying because let's say you're in the cabin and you come outside. And your feet are dry and then you get all you know it gets your feet cold and wet so it has its drawbacks i think now after now that i have it on this boat i didn't put it on the boat i don't know in a future boat if i have a boat i will put it on you know maybe i just use the fiberglass on my feet so i'm gonna take you guys to my favorite area and this is my favorite area of the boat i love it in here i love it yes a lot of people swear and live by center consoles. Um, you know, it all depends. I, I'm very family oriented. I want to keep my family with me. I want to have my kids along. Yes. I know they look innocent and happy in the camera, but yeah, they fight too. Like every other kid and they get on my nerves and I have to get, you know, strong with them sometimes, but I don't matter what I want them with me. So, um, this is my this is what was really my important part of the whole boat uh i want to have a comfortable cabin and to me this cabin is very comfortable first of all like you see i'm six feet tall so and i still have like maybe another six inches so i'm gonna say this cabin is about uh six feet tall and i can move around i mean there you go i'm here you know here walk over here so it's pretty it's pretty roomy like you see on the videos before everybody fits in here you know as long as you know People are laying down, I mean, sitting down and stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys here. I know you guys seen it before, but here, I love this here. I love this area here. Oh, I gotta tighten the table. Yeah, this table's pretty cool. You can actually, it's removable. Um, and yeah, normally, the, this goes back down like this side, if you guys notice. And then you hook it up there, and becomes a bunk. I know in the video it looks small, because I noticed it myself. But this bed must be, I say about almost, uh, almost, I say about 36 inches wide towards the wide side, this side. And then towards back here, I say it's about 30 inches or probably 38 to 30. Yeah. So it's enough for my kid. Joel is pretty big. He fits fine. Uh, Gabby fits more than fine. I know the videos looks kind of small. Because like I said, I don't know why the, the fish eye of the GoPro makes things far away and small. But but it includes a lot of things in the lens. So, but yeah, the bed here is great for kids. Uh, even Fresco. Fresco's almost as tall as me. He lays up here. But yeah, this bed here, like you guys saw, me and Big Mama, me and Orgita fit here great. Uh, the good thing, the bed, this goes down. It's pretty easy. You just you lose it in there and it just goes down and then uh, 
we have the cushions. Has a little closet. This is Gabby's closet. She puts her stuff in there. Oh, and it has a little, a little TV that it works really good. And I think we use it like maybe three times. Oh, notice it has three vents. Has a big one there and then two little ones. And it's pretty cool. I like the way they open up. They open up forward. When you anchor, the wind pushes the boat. Uh, the direction is blowing. So being open towards the front, it lets a really good breeze in here. So right now, since it's cool, uh, you know, we don't turn on the AC during the day. And let me show you. Talking about AC. This is a control panel. That is pretty simple. Um, you know, this is your 120 side that you're gonna, it's, 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 well, it says it right there, but you'll see the voltage and then you see the, you know, the 12 volt there and then it works pretty good. I mean, the water heater, everything, the two outlets and yeah, talking about outlets, I have to put an outside outlet so I don't have to uh, run because my outlet's right there. So I don't have to run an extension cord. I'm going to put a, uh, an outside marine outlet outside. Oh, my microwave there. Oh, well, I suggest you guys, uh, this is the way the microwave comes from the, when you buy a brand new. But by the way, the microwave dip, the original broke. I had to buy a new one. So what I did was I kept this. So instead of having the glass in there, I keep, I keep the, the original packaging on the styrofoam. So when it gets rough, it doesn't bang around the glass in there. There's another drawer here. Keep more stuff. Oh, the radio. Um, another, oops, another storage there and then a sink that I think I've never used a sink there that I never used. So we keep it covered. Then we have this tiny, tiny. Yes, it's tiny. <laughs> it's tiny, but it's pretty cool. It fits, a uh, eggs, milk, and it keeps it cold the whole day and it works 12 volt or 120. So that's pretty cool. Then we have. Another storage there. And then we have garbage. And then I forgot to pick up the garbage. Okay, we have garbage there. And then we have the bottom. Yes, I know the aftermath, but the, uh, I call it the bottom bed. And there's an AC vent that since the, the compressor is inside here. Oh, and that's all the cushions for the insert for the bed. So the since since the compressor is inside the cabin, that's why it was hard for me to to get used to the noise. And one of my best, yes, there we go, the bathroom, the bathroom. There we go. I love this. I love this because to me, a boat without a bathroom, it's very hard to deal with, especially when you have kids and you have a wife that uses it a lot. So it's pretty cool. They have a little storage here uh, that actually keeps the toilet paper dry. Um, there, and then that sink, yes, we do use it a lot. And it becomes a shower that it's pretty cool. So, yeah, and then, like I said, you know, I fit in there. I fit in there. Actually, let me go in here. Yeah. There you go, see? I fit. Still have, I guess, like an inch. So I fit in here to take a shower. And then the good thing, it has another it has another AC vent there. So you know when you take a shower, and it has a blower. So when you take a shower, you don't um uh, you know you don't get hot with the because the water heater does work. The water heater uh it gets pretty hot the water, so it creates steam. And then we have and then we have the mirror that you know works its purpose. For the girls to get dressed so this this was the most important part for me i wanted a comfortable cabin that i could sleep over and uh you know we all fit it in here so it sleeps i say five um uh, or six but uh for us it works fine i love it a few people ask me do you re do i recommend this boat i do um so far so good I love the amenities and the comfort uh, because that's what I was looking for. Uh, I'm, I'm already over going fast. I'm already over, you know, fishing. I do fish. I mean, you, you can see I have a lot of plenty of room in the back to fish, but 
To me, when I was looking for a boat, the most important part was the cabin. I wanted something comfortable. Then I could trailer. And there you go. Something that I, oh, this cushion's here. The one, these, these go up here. These cushions go up here that they're snap on, but I keep them in a the cabin. So, um, I love it. I love the boat. I love it. My kids love it. Ogrida loves it. Uh, now, before the other boat, especially Gabby, she gave me a hard time wanting to go on the boat because, you know, she don't really fish. She likes going in the water and stuff, but, you know, she wanted to be comfortable. But now, she, when she feels, she wants to be out of the sun, she goes in the cabin. She knows how to turn on the generator, the AC, and she lays in there. Or she just opens up the hatches and she stays in there, you know, her little bed. And she watches or whatever TV or the phone. So she's really enjoying it and she's not giving me a hard time anymore to go with us on the boat. So there you go. There you go. What everybody was asking me for to give you guys a more or less a rough idea and opinion on the boat. Uh, oh, hold on. Let me take you guys to the front. Like I said, as long as you hold on to something like, you know, to the rail or something, uh, it's cool. You can walk. It's pretty, it's pretty roomy. There you go. You see? It's not that bad. And then there you go. You have the layout area that Ovida loves. Uh, and yes, my first boat with electric anchor that you can actually control from here or the, or the helm. So, oh, here we go. It has an extra anchor. Oh my gosh, there's leaves everywhere. It has an extra anchor just in case, I guess, the the windless brakes or something. You know, you have that emergency anchor there. Uh, and there you go, it's a lot of walking area. And there you go, the hard top. My kids love it. Even Gabby, they go on. Oh, it's pretty cool, this opens up. So when you actually walk through here, you don't hit your head when you go in and out. Uh, but yeah, um, my kids love the hard top because now they go on here and jump off into the water. Um, yeah, you know, my kids are kind of uh, creative and adventurous, but that's every kid, you know, I guess every kid that's used to of the outdoors, you know, they like being, you know, doing stuff. And yeah, it has the outriggers that I think I'm never going to use in my life because I'm not, I'm not that hardcore fisherman. So they're back there, which is I'm never going to use them, I think. So we walk through here, has a little step there. They're little, but they do their function. And then, yes, the driving station, the helm. <laughs> I don't know. I just like making things obvious. Um, but there you go, guys. I love it. Uh, if you're in the market, if you're a family person, uh, meaning if you like hanging around your family all the time, and I know they get to be a pain sometimes because there's too many opinions <laughs> and decisions, but I don't mind. Uh, I love being around mine. So this is a great boat, a great family boat. Uh, ride wise, uh, it rides pretty good. Um, like I said, I'm used to speed, but now I don't really care about speed. So I have a range of 300 and 360 miles on this boat because it has 360 gallons. So that range is good enough for me. That'll get me to Bimini and places I wanna go and still have enough to run around. So um, there you go. I give this boat a 10 plus uh, because it's what I'm looking for. If you're looking for this type of boat, like I said, a lot of people uh, has asked me to do this video. I'm more or less sure what it does. I mean, what it, stuff that it has. And um, it's a great boat. It's a great boat. Too bad, I think uh, Hydro Sport is not making it anymore. I don't know. They decided they went a little bigger. They went up to the 35, but it's not trailer wheel because it's even wider. And then after the 35, they stopped. And I guess the only concentrating on the big, big boats, the big boys. Uh, I understand it as a business that, you know, they, they want, they're going after the money. <laughs> and I guess it's more, more, more market or more money in the big boats than these little boats. But if you guys could find one out there, get it. Because uh, if you're looking for family boating, this is a very well recommended boat. And uh, I think I talked too much. Um, so there you go, guys. The video that. Everybody kept on asking me, not everybody, but a lot of people have been asking me uh, to do. And finally today, uh, wasn't that busy. I work here at home. 
and I decided to do it and show you guys. So, so thank you guys for uh, watching the channel. And oh, I like, I, I love, you know, I love to meet people. Uh, it's, it's great, you know, people come up to me and say hi, you know. So it's nice to meet everybody. I'm glad everybody enjoys the stuff that, you know, we do. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And let's keep having fun. Bye.